good all. It's Klaus. Time for the wake up. It's Ometan with Justin. Captain's log, Stardate 3873.4. A supernova has pulled us into a time warp. Starbase 12 has informed us of a distress signal emanating from Kanata, a corrupt and totalitarian region of Old Earth. I've decided to start a Zoom meeting with their leader. Historical Officer Davies has recommended that we leave our cameras off to avoid their communist-type facial recognition and surveillance. Please call me welcome to the Canada's Drag Race workroom. The Prime Minister of... Hmm. Christian. Mr. Speaker? It's Star Trek wanting to Zoom with me. They were my favorite show. That's right. The first interracial kiss, and they're so diverse and inclusive. I can't wait. Mr. Trudeau, we come in peace. Uh, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, Capitaine... Uh, Je t'aime beaucoup. Bon matin. Félicitations. Et, uh... Oh my. Spock. Language. Captain. I believe that is Quebecois French. A dialect formed by Kanata habitants who mostly ate pea soup, poutine, and with spoons engineered polyrhythmic cacophony. Jim. He's frozen from hypothermia. But I thought the Kanata people were immune to the cold. Affirmative, Doctor. And from my readings, he appears not to be a true Canadian. Spock, estimate of today's date. Judging by the androgynous fashion, satanic music, and advanced moral decline, I estimate approximately 2023.1. Ukrainians were also trendy then. Cossacks, Scani, electric cars were trendy then too. I don't remember, Captain, but I know they were enslaving children in the dilithium battery mines. And if I remember correctly, there was a pandemic at the time. Correction, Captain. Alleged pandemic. As all of the rhymes with Cyrus's have never been isolated. Computer. Working. Analysis of rhymes with VCR test. Old Earth, 21st century. This test was bound to be unreliable and fraudulent. Cycles dialed too high, resulting in mostly false positives. But how? How could they be fooled so easily? Mr. Hengist, you come from the Kanata bloodline? Well, many people do. It's not a crime. Computer. Richard Hengist, great-grandson of Mark Hengist, CEO of Dizer, a pharmaceutical company known for the largest genocide in Earth history. Pure fantasy. This has gone far enough. Are we going to chase pharmaceutical ghosts and goblins? We all know the real perpetrator is Mr. Trudeau sitting right there. Uh, I just want to say, uh, Mr. Spock, that uh, green lives matter. He's a handsome devil, isn't he? And nice socks. Uh, by the way, Mr. Sulu, I appreciate the basic dictatorship of your people. <laughs> nice. Captain Picard, we've obviously been thrown into this time warp together. Prepare to beam down and meet us with a landing party of your choice. Make it so, number one. Captain, we are picking up a strange broadcast frequency over Kanata. Almost like a brainwashing propaganda as though everyone is under a spell. I agree, Captain, and I'm feeling that this Trudeau man has never once uttered a word of honesty in his life. Damn it, Jim. Something's happening to Spark. Uh, massive deception with virology, climate, Ukraine, and... Transitioning. Jim, uh, if this can happen to Spock's impenetrable Vulcan mind, 
And this whole planet is f***ed. Captain. Spock. May we please leave orbit immediately. Warp 5, Mr. Sulu, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, bon matin. Ah, Monsieur Trudeau. Eh, uh, sorry I was late for the meeting, but I have been observing you and I admire your basic dictatorship and tyrannical gaslighting leadership style. Great minds such as us think alike. Uh, why, thank you, Khan. Uh, you've been a hero to me also. Do you know, I thought I was superior to humans. Do you see? Yet I see that I'm clearly surpassed by your impressive, diabolical persona. Canadians need a strong leader. Um, they may not need one who's good at multiplying, but I am good at dividing. And yet... You come across as rather wholesome and well-intentioned. Well done, my friend. And the way you crush any dissenting voices of your people is sheer mastery. May I take some lessons from you, Monsieur Trudeau? Of course.